Graziel from Malta TV. Today I can't wait to show you something truly Maltese, how our delicious Maltese bread is made. And which better place to do it than at Maple, one of the largest production and distribution companies on the Maltese Islands. So I'm here at the, at the factory with Etienne, the head bakery chef, and we're about to go and see how the Maltese bread is actually made. Uh, to do the Maltese bread, we need the flour and the water and the salt and the yeast and the mother dough. The mother dough is the most important ingredient in the Maltese bread. The mother dough is a piece of dough that we make it today. We leave it 24 hours in the fridge and we use it tomorrow. Okay. So uh, to mix it takes 20 minutes. All right. So By hand? No, with the machine. With the machine. <laughs> with the machine. <laughs> After 20 minutes of mixing time, we put the dough in this case is here. We leave it rest for two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. After those two and a half hours, the dough is good to cut it in, in forms. So here we're halfway through the process. Um, we have the, the form. So what's next, Etienne? Now we leave it rest for two hours. Uh -huh. After those two hours, it is good to go in the oven. So what's happening now? Now the bread is in the oven mm -hmm. and it takes one hour to, to bake. Okay, very good. And then that's the end. It, it that's gets, the end, it yes. Gets, it, it, it comes, it, it down comes here. out from the oven, came down here, on the confire, in the crates and in the shops. Thank you so much for showing us the process. Was I personally really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. I had no idea how it's made. I love Maltese bread and I know that many of our followers love it too. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Maple has once again put its customers' health first by becoming the first bakery to craft a traditional hobza with significantly less salt. This move is in line with the Minister of Health's drive and initiative to encourage people to enjoy more of a Mediterranean diet, including fresh vegetables, fish, olive oil and bread. Therefore, less salt in bread is really good news. I hope you enjoyed our episode today of Malta TV. We gave you a little taster of Maltese food and tradition. And I hope that the next time the food is placed on your table, you will remember everything that we experienced today. From me, it's a bye-bye. See you next time.